Hello everybody. So, have you ever had a problem where your stock is up 200% and you cannot decide if you should sell your stock or keep holding it? All right, welcome everybody. So today we're gonna talk about when should you sell your stock. So to solve that problem, in my honest opinion. And, and my philosophy for buying stock. The only reason you should sell the stock is you find a better stock than your current stock. So if your stock is already up 200%, and if you can find better stock that can go up another 100%, you, you can sell your current position. But if you cannot find a better stock than your current position, I think you should still hold it. So, my advice, I not financial advice, everything I said or do have risk. So please do your own research. <coughs> so I can give you some examples. So for example, I used to, used to hold a stock called SE. The ticker symbol is SE. The name is SEED. S E A. And when I was holding the stock, it was already up 400%. Then on March, you know the stock market uh, on March 2020, uh, the stock market dropped really bad. So every stock is dropping in and I see a lot of good deals out there but SE uh, stock did not drop it did not have much effect on the stock because of the pandemic and everybody had to stay home and SE is an e-commerce company on um, Singapore so 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 the uh, pandemic did not have any uh, did not too much of a damage to the stock price, but I see a lot of great deals everywhere, and and I find I think I found a better stock than SE, so I sold out ninety percent of my position, and I bought into Wayfair at twenty five dollars, and right now the uh, Wayfair price is is has have recovered and is already at two hundred twenty dollars. So I almost almost made eight times my money. So Wayfair balancing is uh, just as good as SE, and then the growth is just as good. So I so find a stock that's better than uh, SE, and I bought into sold the stock and bought into Wayfair, and made eight hundred percent on my money. So that's how I look at it, and. Here's another example. I was my right now my Tesla position is uh up almost five hundred percent. Why I sell it? No, because I haven't find stock that's better than Tesla. And when when I sell Tesla is is probably uh, lever or it might be like next month if I find a stock that's better than Tesla. Just have more growth than Tesla, have better product line than Tesla, have better balance sheet than Tesla, have better CEO than Tesla, which is not possible. I haven't found anything. If next month I find a stock that's better than Tesla, I will sell it. Or next year, or 10 years down the line. As long as I did not find a stock that's better than Tesla, I will not sell the stock uh, on Tesla. So that's my basic, basically my philosophy for holding <coughs> or buying or selling a stock. Hope this video is helpful. And uh, please like, uh, give this video a like so more people can uh, find this video. Uh, as you know, if you have this question, other people will have the same question as well. So uh, please like. And it will help out the channel a lot. As you know, I only have 
86 subscribers and if you could uh, help me out with the number uh, also please subscribe thank you